Well, let's get more now on one of our top stories. The father of a 14-year-old girl, Hannah Smith, who was found dead in her bedroom, has called for stricter controls on social media sites after his daughter was bullied online. But why has social media become such an important part of teenage lives? We'll get to that in a moment. But first, a statement from the site uh, involved, uh, Ask FM. They've issued a statement saying that Hannah Smith's death is a true tragedy. The statement continued, We'd like to convey our deepest condolences to her family and friends. We have reached out to the Leicestershire Police and would be happy to cooperate with their investigation. It then goes on, Ask FM actively encourages our users and their parents to report any incidences of bullying, either by using the Insight reporting button or via our contact page. Well, with me now is Vicky Beeching, a research fellow in Internet Ethics at Durham University, who has been looking at teenage use of social media. Um, I mean, this is obviously a really, really sad mm -hmm. moment for that family, but a lot of parents up and down the country will be thinking, what's exactly going on in my daughter's bedroom or my son's bedroom when they're on the net? I mean, what sort of things should they look at and what should they do? Well, I think, first of all, we need to realise the, the massive culture shift that we're facing. So it's basically like uh, as significant as the Industrial Revolution. You know, we're looking at a, a communication shift in society. And I think unless we really uh, give it the gravitas that it's due, parents don't maybe realise um, the cultural gap that's, that's really um, forming between them and their children. And there's a real misunderstanding of how important Important being online is to, to the teenager to the teenager so often parents will say you just need to switch that off you know maybe that they think the online world isn't real you hear that a lot you know put that thing down go and get a real life go and hang out with your real friends and to to teens who are known now as digital natives because their native environment is the online world um, they they exist in a kind of online reality all the time their friends are there it is real and it's not as simple as saying switch it off you know, that's, that's just the internet. But it, it, it is certainly real, and, but it's also, it can be anonymous, mm -hmm. and that's, some people find that's one of the delights of it, but that can be also one of the dangers. I mean, you wouldn't, yeah. if somebody was phoning you and you didn't know who it was, you'd put the phone down. You would. And a teenager would do that, but they wouldn't Very necessarily true. do it online. No, they wouldn't, and it's difficult because um, with this case, a lot of people are now you know, tweeting, we need to ban anonymous use of social media, but actually anonymity can be very good. There's people in different nations who, for, for certain restricted reasons, actually really flourish through anonymity. People who are being abused, they are able to use social media and, and ask questions, seek help. There, there are examples of anonymity being used so healthily uh, that it's, uh, it's very easy to say it's wrong. But we also need to learn how to use anonymity well. But uh, I'm just trying to think again what the, what the parents should do if they feel that feel that they they need to be worried. I mean, again, to the, the stranger danger stuff, which yes. we've been brought up with, you wouldn't get in a car with somebody you don't know. Perhaps you should be very careful when you're an internet. Mm -hmm. Uh, chat room or whatever with somebody you don't really know. Yes, I think it's as simple as um, trying to get young people to realise that they don't know who the person is. It doesn't matter who their avatar is. It doesn't matter what their screen name is. It may not be a representation of that person at all. And often young people are so um, trusting and they don't have the skills to recognise manipulative psychological behaviours yet that they can actually think somebody might be who they say they are when actually they're not. But I think the real cause um, here is often parents not understanding how these things work. So if a parent actually wants to fix uh, this whole situation for their child, I think get online, learn how to use these, learn the language, figure out how these networks actually work, and then you can actually converse with your child meaningfully. Because uh, if you don't know how don't, it works... Don't just say switch off. No, that's, don't just that's say not switch off. That's not going to work anyway. No, because in the future, I think we're going to be... Um, it's going to be quite laughable, I think, to say online, offline. That binary really is broken. We're, we're getting to a stage, and I like sci-fi a lot, so I believe we're actually going to become kind of transhuman in a sort of cyborg way. I think we will be embedding technology at some point soon. You know, there won't be an offline. We need to teach our kids how to be great at handling life online and not just say turn it off and, and don't deal with it. But just a final thought, maybe, mm. maybe one way of handling it is to do exactly the opposite of say switch it off. Say, I don't really understand it because I'm a bit old. Mm. Maybe you should teach me how to I use it. I think that's fantastic. And also recognising the privacy that's necessary for a child. So obviously if a friend has, you know, if a kid has friends around to hang out, they don't want their parents probably hanging out in their bedroom listening to their conversation. So knowing that appropriate boundary, getting your child to show you the next network but then also not breathing down their neck by joining it and watching everything they do but you've got to understand the culture the language it's literally a cultural gap and parents really need to step up to the challenge of learning it. Vicky thanks very much Vicky Beeching there.